Hi guys, so you might remember this Makeup Revolution brush from my recent haul um, and this is what we're going to be looking at today. This video was meant to go up yesterday, I'm sorry it's a little bit late. Um, I feel like I'm making such a bad impression when I've had quite a few new subscribers lately. Um, my gran actually ended up in the hospital, um, we were told that she might not make it through the night um, but the doctor's now telling us that she's actually improving so, you know, this is... It's been a bit of a roller coaster week, um, so I do apologise. But I used this to do my foundation today. It's $9.99, so for Makeup Revolution it's kind of on the pricier side, but for makeup brushes in general it's it's, it's okay. Um, it makes me think of these brushes, um, just in terms of the shape, the denseness of the bristle, bristles, bristles, but instead of having a long handle it's just got this built out at the back so it fits into the palm of your hand. Um, so I use it today and this is how that went. Okay, so let's get trying with this guy. Um, I've got a couple of loose hairs that I'm just going to make sure are off and then tapping into the foundation and blending it across my skin. I have to admit, I'm feeling my grip slip a little bit already if I'm pushing up that way. Um, I'm kind of sliding out of that finger finger slot. Um, don't really know what to call that. Um, but it's doing a nice job blending actually. It feels really nice and soft. I've lost a couple more hairs so I have a makeup brush bristle beard going on. Um, right. But that's a problem that's going to settle down anyway. Hopefully settle down before the brush is totally bald. So another one. <laughs> do, do, do. Hmm. Then my forehead. So it makes quite work of large areas. Um, it doesn't seem to be encouraging a full coverage, shall we say, um, which is strange, although if you pat it you'll get a mega coverage. But swiping it, it's so dense that it moves a lot of the product um, and that kind of minimises the cover a little bit. So I'm going to tap my nose because I like having cover on my nose. Do, do, do. Okay, so I'm going to try using this for my concealer even though it's going to be pretty awkward on the under eyes, but why not? Um, so as ever, Kiko Natural Concealer in clear, which is not clear, but whatever. Um, as a bit of a corrector, because it's got that pinky shade. And I'm just going to stick to tapping for this. And a little bit awkward for that inner corner, but still definitely works. So that's nice. Okay, I'm cool with that. Um, liquid concealer for under eyes. I'm going to do the Barry M Light Reflecting. Definitely one of my favourite budget concealers. Although could be in a wider range of colours, but that's the same for any Barry M skin products, to be honest with you. So, that's that. And that's blended out that really nice as well, but that is a thin liquidy concealer, so that's not overly surprising. It's, it's difficult for something to have a problem with blending that out, but we're going to give it a real challenge because we're going to get out my uber concealer, the Kevin Aquan Essential Skin Enhancer, which is just like, it's like the concealer version of polyfilla. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit down my nose like I always do. 
into the corners of my nose, which might be awkward to reach now that I'm thinking about it. Extra help on my chin. Some blemishes here. And there. And then just a couple of dots around my forehead because I usually have problems with my forehead too. So. Right. Let's try tapping, see how this goes. So, oh, okay, that, that obliterated that concealer in a good way. Um, huh, okay. Hmm. That's really cool, actually. I like this. I like the feel of the handle. I like the feel of the bristles. And it honestly blended that concealer out like so much easier than any anything else that I've tried. So I'm really happy with that. Huh. Right. So I am going to go and finish up the rest of my makeup and then come back and do some final thoughts. So as you can see, I actually really enjoy using this as a foundation brush and as a concealer brush. I don't expect they're going to come out with any more of these. Um, I don't think it would really work. I think even if they tried blusher, it would have to be a bit smaller and then wouldn't fit into the palm of your hand. So I think this is going to be a slightly one-off brush in their collection. Um, I think the price point is absolutely fine. The quality feels really nice. Um, one issue that I do have with this is how I'm going to store it because it, it doesn't stand up on anything. You know, it's it's not got a flat surface. I mean, you, can, you can't even try and balance it on that little finger bit because it's curved. So when I was actually finished with it today, I ended up popping it in a shot glass that I usually keep around for beauty blenders that are airing out and drying. Um, and that's not particularly secure. So that is a major downside for that for me. Um, it's going to be really irritating to store. I don't want to store it bristled down because whatever surface it's on, any bacteria on that is going to get into the bristles. And also, ultimately, it's just going to start messing up the bristles. Also, if it's dirty, I don't want to put it face down and dirty something else. So I can definitely see me using this for travel where I don't really have a makeup kind of area um, and I'm just going to be chucking stuff in and out of a travel bag because it is nice and compact for that. But I, I still love it. I still think it is a good buy and I enjoy it. Um, it's just got one flaw that's going to irritate me personally. So Maybe they should invent a nice little seat for it um, so that I can stand it on my desk. Uh, if you guys have got any questions about this, please leave them down below. I will get back to you. And I hope you are having a nice week and I will see you later. Bye.